it's Angelica and I want to give you a little behind the scenes information on my latest project, What Do You Want Most video. This video includes a hundred people and it's about two months in the making and it's probably my favorite project to date. The inspiration for this video started when me and my friend were taking our typical 3am drives and we were at talking and asking questions and he's like, I got a good one for you. And he's like, what do you want most? And I answered mine fairly quickly and was pretty confident in it. And I won't tell you what you guys I won't tell you guys what my answer is. I'll leave it as a mystery, but I answered and then I asked him the question and he answered. We were talking about our answers for some time and and it intrigued me because if you ask me like what do you think is the most typical response to that question before this video, I probably would have thought happiness or success or money, but after doing this video, it's clear to see that isn't the case. Happiness was the most given answer, but that was about 35 people, which doesn't even equivalent to half. So I decided to ask 100 people, and my family and friends are in this video, but 90% of this video is complete strangers that I went up to and I was like, would you like to be in this video? They're like, yeah, of course, sounds great. And then I asked them the question and they're like, oh, what? <laughs> some people took 10 seconds to answer and some people took 10 minutes to answer and some people thought of one answer and some people thought of 10 answers. And when I was editing this video, I made sure that people who gave multiple responses to the question, I cut them down to their first answer. Because to me, that's the most gut and heartful answer. To me, when people thought about it more, they thought more logically, they thought about what was beneficial to them in their life. And to me, the first answer is the most raw answer. So when I was going through the videos, I decided to cut people who got multiple answers and decided to pick out the first raw answer. My favorite things about this video is it made me go out and meet new people. And it made me learn about people solely based on a question and solely based on their answer. Within a minute, I knew something about that person that I never even met before that. And to me, that was really intriguing and really an honor almost to meet so many people and find out just a little bit about themselves. The best thing about this project is that it's not just a video of me asking a question and getting some answers. It shows how people think and what they think about and how they value things and what they value. Think, it shows people think short term, do they think long term, do they think about materials or do they think about relationships. It shows a whole other side of people and shows an insight to who they are and what they value. When I was doing this video I wanted to make sure I got a well-rounded group of 100 people. So I made sure I got people from different races, different uh, religions, different ages, and just overall people who were different spots in their life. And to me that was important because that really affected their answers. It shows what an older person may have said compared to what a really young kid said. The most frequent question that I got asked during this project was what was my favorite response or what was the response that really took me back? And after thinking about it for a long time, I think one of my favorite responses out of this project was purpose. Because I think purpose is such a big part of humanity and of people's lives. I think that's what contributes to a lot of almost everyone's will to live and why we want to live and what are we living for. I think purpose is a very big part of people so I really like that response. And that being said, I want you to comment in the video what was your favorite response and why did you like it so much. So after watching this video, I want you to pretend like I'm there interviewing you right now on the spot and I want you to think of what's your first gut, heartfelt response to what do you want most? And think about why did you think about that? What do you value about that that puts it over everything else in your life? If you like this project, stay tuned because I'm going to be putting out a lot more projects soon. As a content creator, I like to involve my projects around mental health, environmental awareness, it usually has a psychological twist, and overall positive media because I try to strive for media for the better that involves meaningful media that actually improves your lives. So until next time, I'll see you around and think about it.